ऐसा लगता है कि भीड़ में मामला गरमा रहा है काम डाउन काम डाउन गाइस प्लीज शांत हो जाइए क्योंकि स्पेशल क्राइम यूनिट सिचुएशन को शांत करने के लिए आ गई है अगर मैं तुम्हें अपने तरीके से समझाने पर उतर आया तो अच्छा नहीं होगा एसीपी अविनाश को बुलाने का वक्त आया क्राइम यूनिट वापस आ गई है इस बार हम दोगुना रोमांच देने का वादा करते हैं साइलेंस टू में एसीपी अविनाश वर्मा की भूमिका दोबारा निभाना मेरे लिए सम्मान की बात है इससे मुझे यह एहसास होता है कि जरूरत पड़ने पर पुलिस तक पहुंचना और उनकी मदद लेना कितना महत्वपूर्ण है मुझे तो साथ खड़े होकर भी डर लग रहा है बट लेडीज एंड जेंटलमैन मनोज बाजपाई प्राची देसाई साहिल वैद वकार शेख ह्यूज अच्छा आप लोग तो आ गए हैं पर हम सब जिस चीज के लिए इकट्ठा हैं, द ट्रेलर लॉन्च वो देख लें एक बार आई वुड रिक्वेस्ट कैन वी प्लीज क्यू द ट्रेलर मनोज बाजपाई प्राची देसाई वकार शेख साहिल वैद अब क्या क्या नहीं हुआ एक तो आपने ट्रेलर देखा एकदम दीवार तोड़ के एंट्री मारी इन्होंने अगर आपको लग रहा है कि सरप्राइजेस आज के लिए खत्म हो गए हैं तो ऐसा बिल्कुल नहीं है एसीपी अविनाश वहां मामला कंट्रोल में है ओके <laughs> okay, uh, Them. Can I please have on stage Parul Gulati and Dinkar Sharma? Welcome, welcome. Hi. And can we have the mics, please? So, one photo up, ho jaye before all of you settle down. Super. Well, that's a squad we need to watch out for. So please take your seats. Uh, I'd also uh, like to have Manish Kalra, Ashima Avasti, Kiran Deohans, and Avan Deohans to please also join them on stage. I think we could have another picture perfect moment with the whole team now. We'll do. We'll get the chair, chair while you while you uh, do a picture. <laughs> Can I request everyone to please uh, pose for a picture? I request all of you to please step forward for the picture.
Okay, I'm going to open it up to all of you, but before that, I get to ask one question. So I'm going to make the most of it and uh, start with the new entrance. Parul, you've written that you're going to be debut with the one and only Manoj Bajpai. How excited are you? I'm really excited. I, I mean, I've been around for 12 years now. Everyone thinks that Hindi film will be done in Hindi. But this is my first film hai, and that too with the greatest cast ever oh. and it is a legacy that has been carried forward from Silence One uh, with the greatest Avan ma'am. It was a pleasure working with her and then having a female DOP also. So I was like wow, it was like meant to be. Sorry? <laughs> what do you mean Katie? Please elaborate. Please elaborate, Katie. But I think we must also cheer for Pooja, who's the DOP who joined them for the <laughs> Amazing. Dinkar, how was your experience? Aap bhi new entrant hai. Did you get bullied the first day on set? Uh, no, I didn't. Soch ke jawab. Silence. <laughs> No, no, it was great fun and uh, everyone uh, was extremely supportive and I'm just very, very happy and grateful that I got this part and ma'am thought and the producers thought and everyone thought that I could, you know, uh, do this very, very important and interesting character and I'm very happy to be here. Manoji, coming to you, every time I interview you, I do this from the sir? How do you become everyone's favorite with every character? But you saw him, you observed him. No, uh, I just, uh, no, I'll, I'll take your permission just to say uh, a huge thanks to Z Studio, Sharik Patel, Asima, and the entire team who is present here. Uh, it's been a long journey with them, and also Z5, Manish Kalra, and their entire PR team here. They, they've always taken great care of me. And yes, we fight a lot. I fight a lot with their team uh, in finding the right way uh, of pr promoting the film or finding the, finding the right groove. Uh, <clears throat> but I must tell you one thing. I don't do anything. I just try to be uh, a sincere slave to my director, in this case, Avan uh, Barusha Devans, who has been my friend for many years. Uh, also because uh, Kiran Devans, who is sitting here quietly, uh, and uh, believe me, believe me, no, no matter how, how well things uh, go, Kiran will always have some problem there. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, the great cinematographer of this, the, the, the great cinematographer of this country, uh, who's uh, given me a chance to work with another fantastic cinematographer, Pooja Gupte, a second time. Uh, this time, a second time I'm collaborating with her. And you know, finding such uh, women force on the set, uh, uh, including Prachi uh, there, and uh, coming from uh, the last one, season one, yeah. uh, the edition one, Sahil Ved and Vakar Sheikh, it was, it was great collaborating. I mean, for me, it's going back to the, to the same set of the people that you loved working with. I don't do anything extra. I just, uh, we just try to focus on the job and the demand of the job uh, mm -hmm. and the instruction which is coming from the director, in this case, Avan. Um, but you know what was so fascinating for me? Uh, that in, in the last one, um, uh, the, the girl, Yagnik, uh, what was her full name? Pooja. Garima. 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 Garima Yagnik. Uh, she was superlative. Superlative. And she was so young. She was so fascinating. She was so hardworking. And uh, usually I don't uh, you know, get into the casting. But I was keeping my finger crossed that, you know, they will cast very well for, for uh, Dinka's role and uh, Parul's role. And uh, the confidence that these two have shown. Uh, was quite mesmerizing. Uh, Parul uh, is going to be quite a surprise uh, in this film. And Dinkar 
you know, is going to be so fascinating for the audience. Uh, he's, uh, you know, he's coming from theater, and Parul, uh, the kind of confident lady she is, that she is, uh, I've only been watching her on Instagram, and she's been, uh, she's, she's been quite good. I mean, she has to tell me how to, how to do that, how to do that. But yes, it has been a fascinating journey. I have been only learning, keeping silence. silence. That's it. That's it. So I've not let out the secret, right? which is amazing. <laughs> well, you were actually expecting that. We still don't know. Aji, kya bol rahe? Mike, Mike. <laughs> but now to Prachi uh, and Vakar, you have done this second installment two times with uh, Manoj. And now you have to give a high five when I told you how to do it. So, did you come to understand? Who came to understand? We came to understand the first time. Silence to come to understand. But you know, your characters have received so much love. Um, you know, how difficult is it to get back into that sur jise bolte na? Because you uh, character me ek bar phir kaise khud ko dhalte hain? Sabse pehle to main aapko dhau ki jab bhi aap dusra season ya dusra edition kar rahe hote hain, you have to revisit the first one. Yeah. Uh, because uh, eventually, what happens that there is a gap and you have moved on from there. You have grown as an actor, you have grown as a, as a person. But there, is, there are a few basic elements that uh, you have uh, done in the, in the previous one. You should not leave that, hmm. you know, because that is, the, that, that is the crux of the character. Yes, the character, even the character ha is coming after such a uh, long gap. So he is also going to be uh, a person uh, or the character with the growth. But there are basic things, basic uh, qualities or the, or the disadvantages of the character that you should always, always keep, no, not, not to leave, leave it behind. Uh, when I was doing it, I watched the first one firsthand, tried to remind myself uh, uh, what I have done and what I should do now, because there, there is a certain part of Avinash Verma which is not heavily touched upon by the writer and director. Mm. Uh, not even in the first one, not even in the second one. But that's the seed of, the, of his character. Mm. And uh, my, the character's journey is taken from there. My yeah. anger, my loneliness, uh, the character's loneliness is coming from there. So that I kept on reminding myself. Whenever I was sitting on the set, I kept on reminding myself about the back story or the, or the, sto the personal story of this man, where he's coming from. I kept on reminding myself. And, the, and now he's on the job. So mostly when you see him, he's on the job. There is a very 2% uh, that Avan has given to Avinash Verma uh, about his other side hmm. that uh, audience get to see. But that is the that is the seed of his making yeah. okay so yes uh, that was the basic uh, base of my character always such a pleasure listening to you manoj ji uh, my question now to prachi aapka kirdar bhi kis tarike se what was your process of getting into the skin of that character uh, you know honestly to begin with just the joy of coming back to this team yeah. was boundless uh, you know, I mean, the minute we, I got the call at least, I was like, absolutely, when? Um, and, you know, there are some things about uh, the role, like Manojsa said, which of course you have to revisit. But personally, I felt that there are so many things that beautifully come to you when you're in motion. Mm. So your body language from the first film, you know, which is sort of muscle memory, it comes yeah. back to you on the second or the third or the fourth day. Um, the camaraderie that we share, uh, I think that bond, is so great that the second time around, um, we were genuinely great friends on the set. And that just made our job easier. Yeah. So every time we were within a scene, uh, nobody had to worry about breaking the ice or getting to know another, no, none of that. I mean, I think we were kind of able to bring in that friendship on screen because all of us bonded really well off screen. 
Um, and this time around, I think we knew Aban ma'am uh, that well, where we kind of know where she's coming from, when we are uh, executing scenes, we know her working style, mm -hmm. all of that. I think that really added to it because genuinely this time, there was a lot more work. There are so many murders happening and there's that much more work to do. <laughs> I mean, we are all on our toes. So um, yeah, this time I think that friendship helped, but uh, also yes. Then. It's not every day you get to hear so many murders happening. So, we got regular, to... Just a regular cop life, guys. Yeah. Yeah. I'd, I'd like to bring in Sai Ved at this point of time. Uh, like she said, I'm sure the, the energy on set would be very different. A bond has become a bond. You know, you're, you're back there with those characters. What uh, was the learning for you? Learning for you? Manoj sir used to sit in the center like a sensei. And we used to sit around him, ask him life questions, ask oh. him character questions. He would always Don't have an answer. Don't we all? Don't we all? <laughs> he, he always has this, he has intense eyes and first of all, he looks at you and then he's like, your question seriously pooch raha hai ya mazak mein pooch raha hai? And then he gauges it and then he realizes ki nahi yaar, ye dil se sawal pooch raha hai. And then he goes, Sahil, aise karo. And then it happens. Be it life, be it, be it the film, be it anything. He has answers. He's our sensei. <laughs> so cool, so cool. Uh, Vakar, you uh, tell me, how was, how was your experience and how have you evolved as a person, as an actor, now with Silence 2? See, as uh, Prachi also said, it was not very difficult because we came to Silence 1. Karke aai the. Mm. So the characters are the same. Mm. And... Uh, We've gelled so nicely in Silence One, so there was no breaking ice again. We bonded as if jahan se chhoda tha, wahin se shuru kiya. We know Aban Ma'am's uh, style of uh, direction. Uh, characters, we've already played that character. And for me personally, my biggest kick is standing in the same frame with Mr. Bajpai. Matlab, isse bada kuch aur hoi nahi sakta. Aap ek complete institution ke saath ek hi frame mein khade ho, isse bada mainly achievement kuch nahi hai. And it just makes your job very easy when you're working with him. And um, scripts are so detailed that you don't have to think much more. Just be with your character that you played in Silence One. Continue with that same um, honesty. And um, that's it. It gets very easy. And we live in the other time. 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 I also feel that. I didn't say it. But then... Totally. Got that. You know, I, I now now I like to get the director and producer in. Producer, the will chup. Kuch bhi nahi bol rahe. Like the only one here who's taking silence very seriously is you. And uh, uh, you know, they talked a lot about being on set and how when uh, Manoj was saying that you have character in your character, so you were laughing. Okay, this is the pain of the director that you have to do so much work or that you have to take a cast like this no, no, they were all fantastic. In fact, I would say that Manoj would put on his mustache, <laughs> he would wear his jacket, and he was ACP Avinash Verma. And then he was that the badass cop. He was the one, you know, who will not tolerate nonsense. He will look at you with that intense eyes. And all of them would react like little mice the minute he looks like that. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, yeah, but we had so much fun on the set. And like they were mentioning, there was so much camaraderie. The actors knew their characters. So uh, that made my, my uh, part so much easier mm. for the second installment. So character-wise, that was the thing. This was, of course, a more, um, well, I would say, a more difficult film because um, it had more layers. It's character, other characters as well were more complex. So for him, I think it was the, you know, the whole thing was like an onion, where ACP Avinash Varma had layer. to peel off every layer till he reached the crux. Lovely. We can't wait to watch the film, but I think everyone's itching to ask you questions. So I'm going to open it up to everyone here. Do we have no, a mic I just, there? I just want to say yes. thanks to uh, Kiran Devans for, for really uh, treating us with chicken lollipop every day. 
Wow. Yeah. So I'd like to work with Chicken you. lollipop. <laughs> I know. I, I always try to find it on every set, but they fail to give it to me. But uh, Kiran, thank you very much for chicken lollipops. <laughs> <laughs> Most welcome, Manoj. Thank you, Kiran, sir. Thank I you think. so much. <laughs> Super guys, are I you have, ready with your no, question? No, I have to say something yes, that, please, <laughs> that I think filmmaking goes little more than chicken lollipop on the set. <laughs> as as Aban put it very simply, that uh, the way uh, the whole thing happened. But uh, the more we went through the shooting, we realized that it is not a very simple film. Hmm. It's a very intricate and interactive si silence too now. And I don't know how she writes it because it's damn difficult to write murder mystery. There are very few female, I think, yeah, writers yeah. and directors. Uh, and uh, it's a very difficult genre because the audience is interacting continuously with the, with the yeah. film. So um, I think <laughs> the chicken lollipop was just to ease the tension on the set. <laughs> we get it, sir. We so know you did a lot to. more than just so that. Are, yes. <laughs> Kiran, you, are not, you are not allowed to say nice things about Avan <laughs> because you have said it all your life. <laughs> <laughs> but I must say that I, this is my fourth film with Manoj. Yeah. Starting from Ax to Hanan. Hanan, you must have seen somewhere. Yeah. And these two. He is such a pleasure to work with on the set as a DOP, as a producer. All of us, everybody from the cast and crew, first AD, second AD, everybody was like a friend to Manoj. Like the first AD, Zitanya and Dev and all this gang. They were like uh, not afraid of speaking to Manoj. Normally, when the star of his level is on the set, there's a hush hush, and you know, before you suggest him something, you think twice. But here it was really no wall, whether it's the director talking to him or the third AD speaking to him. It was such a beautiful atmosphere, thanks to him only because. See, there was the come right there, yeah. you know, right yeah. down. So he actually made people so comfortable. All the actors, the cast, crew, he would fool around with everybody. So there was never a moment where we felt, uh, oh my God, oh, you know, uh, Manoj has come on the set. We would only get stressed, you know, when? Because when the call time would be like 8 o'clock and Manoj would arrive at 7. Oh. <laughs> and we're like, what? He's already there? <laughs> and then we're like, oh shit, oh shit, go fast. <laughs> I have to add one thing. Like before silence, one was made. Yeah. When the script was ready and I think that was COVID time. We went and narrated to Ashima. And it, see, normally, uh, just a normal thriller is okay, but this is a little difficult script. Mm -hmm. So we were a little skeptical ki kya hoga, Ashima ko pasan aayegi, nahi aayegi. But uh, one narration, I think she was green lighting it, which was, a, I mean, a little surprise, and we were happy about it. Yeah. Because these kind of projects don't get greenlit so easily. Right. And Manoj had greenlit also. So I think. Uh, the more uh, people uh, write this kind of stuff, you'll have a variety of cinema. Exactly. And there are actors like Manoj accepting it because he's changing every time. But I know what the most important thing is that when we talk about directors, where we are you know, uh, breaking the stereotype here, whenever we are talking about the women directors, we are talking, you know, everyone thinks that there will be a film in a particular genre. In a particular genre. In a particular yeah. genre. This murder mystery, uh, Aban Devans, I, yeah. been, I know her for so many years. Uh, this is only and only the murder mystery of the story. Who killed who and how he killed him. So I was always very afraid for Kiran Devans, my friend. <laughs> but thankfully he survived. Yeah. <laughs> No, but also how beautifully she broke the stereotype. So yeah. thank you for for making something like this. It really looks <laughs> very thrilling. Guys, now it's over to you, my friends from uh, the media. Do we have a mic? Uh, my name is Aina from Instant Bollywood. My question is to Manish Kara. My question is that, you know, the financial year has just started and it started with a property like Silence 2. How do you think the year is looking ahead for Z5? Really, it's, uh, it is looking really exciting for us. We have a great lineup. Uh, Manoj is a part of many of them. <laughs> uh, we have the, I always call that uh, Manoj is the superstar of OTT, so. Yeah, uh, she asked that uh, Manoj is the face of Z. Yeah, I was like, yeah, he is the face of Z, so why not? So anyway, it's a great lineup uh, with amazing uh, actors with some great plots. Uh, 
we have a mix of good originals, uh, which are OCs and web series, as well as movies and uh, theatrical. So you will kind of see a amazing, exciting lineup from Z5, and customers would be hopefully very interested and excited. Yeah. Hi, I have a question for Manoj sir. Uh, Manoj sir, silence does not have to be that all dark and sinister word. Uh, you have been constantly maintaining in all your interviews that when things were not going right for you, mm -hmm. you chose to go inward. You chose to maintain that silence and find that sense of spirituality through silence by going deep within you. When things also get ultra competitive, perhaps toxic, uh, you also chose to do that. Can you please shed light on the same, the significance of silence? Aapka rapta silence se kitna tagda hai? Us par I will answer it in Hindi. Yeah, both. There are two ways to keep silent. One thing is 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 to keep silent. When you are in life, you are in your life. I always believe that to go to the basement is very good. Because the basement will go to the house. If you are in the basement, you will not be able to hide in the basement. The meaning of the basement is that you are in the basement. अपनी यात्रा को सोचना और देखना कि आपने क्या सही किया और क्या गलत किया क्योंकि तूफान के साथ में आप छाती खोल के खड़ा नहीं रह सकते हैं ज़्यादा सही होता है कि आप अपने अंदर झांक के देखें कि आपने क्या सही किया क्या गलत किया और जहाँ तक बात है दूसरे साइलेंस की तो दूसरा साइलेंस ये होता है कि जब चीज़ें आपके आस बहुत ज़्यादा उलझ गई हों तो आप बात करके उसको सुलझा नहीं कर सकते हैं। सारे पर्सपेक्टिव से उस चीज को देखना होता है और साइलेंटली उसको एनालाइज करना होता है और तभी जाकर के आप किसी मकाम पे किसी कंक्लुजन में पहुंच सकते हैं। तो वो साइलेंस ये साइलेंस है, दूसरा वाला। हाय सेंटर मयूर यू आर फ्रॉम बियोंड बॉलीवुड मेरा सवाल मनो सर मैंने एक आपके एक इंटरव्यू में आपने बड़ी खूबसूरत बात कही थी कि सिनेमा से अगर वाकई कुछ बदल सिर्फ अगर कुछ बदल सकता है तो वो है लोगों के हेयर स्टाइल तो सर अगर आप मेरी टार्ट देख पा रहे हो तो कुछ बता सकते हैं कि मुझे किसका हेयर स्टाइल फॉलो करना चाहिए नहीं वो पारुल वो चीज बेचती है आप किसी भी एक्टर का हेयर स्टाइल पा सकते हैं। थैंक यू, थैंक यू। आजकल, आजकल, आजकल इंस्टाग्राम वो काम कर रहा है। ये मैंने बालों पे लगाया। आपको चाहिए तो कांटा। जी जी, शाइन है, शाइन हेयर स्टाइल। डीएम मी, डीएम मी। शाइन हेयर, पारुल, अपना इंस्टाग्राम हैंडल बता दो। निश हेयर, निश हेयर, निश हेयर। तो आपने no, I don't say anything in this way. Somewhere or somewhere, the cinema is reflected in our time. It can be mirrored in our time. It can be created in cinema. It can be created in cinema. It can be created in cinema. That's why we always say that the cinema doesn't change alone. Cinema is a part of a part of a movement. If you look at it, people have created a part of a way of cinema or an art form. So what will you say about it? Because that cinema or any art form can be a part of it. Sometimes it can't be seen in the distance. वो मेरे समय को दिखा सकता है जब अमित अमिताभ बच्चन जी एंग्री मैन के तौर पे आए थे तो बेरोजगारी थी निराशावाद था होपलेसनेस जिसको कहते हैं उस समय आम आदमी को पता नहीं था कि अपने आप को वेंट आउट कैसे करे कहाँ पे देखे तो उन अमिताभ बच्चन जी में उन्होंने अपन अपने आप को देखा और वहाँ पर उनकी फिल्में देख करके उन्होंने वेंट आउट किया उनको लगा कि ये मैं हूँ जो सामने खड़ा है और वो दुनिया से वो सिस्टम से लड़ रहा है तो इसी तरीके से जब रोमांटिसिज्म का समय आता है तो शम्मी कपूर हुए और हमारे आपके समय में सलमान शाहरुख और आमिर हुए 
तो हम लोग हम जो सिनेमा देखते हैं वो हमारे दौर का आईना होता है वो खुद में कोई आंदोलन और या मूवमेंट नहीं होता है हेलो मेरा मैं दैनिक जागरण से दीपेश पांडे सर uh, मेरा सवाल मनोज सर आपसे और प्राची आपसे रहेगा क्योंकि क्योंकि आप दोनों uh, फिल्म में पुलिस ऑफिसर का कैरेक्टर प्ले कर रहे हैं तो मैं आपसे वो पुलिस डिपार्टमेंट uh, से जुड़ा कोई ऐसा यादगार एक्सपीरियंस जानना चाहूँगा जो पुलिस नाम पर, सुनते सबसे पहले आप लोगों के कोई मत करना पजल मत करना फेल हो जाएंगे सब के सब यहाँ पे सब चिकन लॉली खाने में व्यस्त थे <laughs> जी जी सॉरी तो आ, मैं पूछ रहा था कि आप लोग का आ, कुछ ऐसा एक्सपीरियंस जो पुलिस नाम सुनते हैं पुलिस डिपार्टमेंट नाम सुनते ही आ, सबसे पहले वो इंसिडेंट याद आता हो आप दोनों से मुझे सबसे पहले नाम याद मतलब कोई इंसिडेंट याद आता हो मेरे जीवन में मैं देखिए मैं गांव का हूं तो हमारे गांव में दरोगा साहब जो थे वो सबसे बड़े आदमी हुआ करते थे तो दरोगा साहब की अगर गाड़ी हमारे गांव घर पे लगती थी वो चाहे भले ही चाय पीने आ रहे हों लेकिन सबसे पहले हमारी फट जाती थी कि पता नहीं दरोगा साहब और उनके लोग क्यों आ गए पुलिस के नाम से सबके क्योंकि कानून और लॉ इन्फोर्समेंट का सबसे बड़ा काम उनके ऊपर होता है तो सबसे बड़ी जिम्मेदारी उनके ऊपर होती है तो अगर पुलिस की गाड़ी कहीं से गुजरती है और लोगों के अंदर में या तो एक एक अश्योरेंस होता है कि वो सुरक्षित हैं या जो अगर आप कुछ भी ऐसा गलत काम कर रहे हैं तो आपको डर लगे कि आप आपके ऊपर खतरा है तो ये एक बड़ी अच्छी बात है हमारे अभी जब मैं गांव जाता हूं तो अपने लोकल हमारे जितने भी दरोगा साहब लोग हैं वो सब थाने के लोग सब मिलते हैं एंड आई रियलाइज़ कि इन लोगों का काम कितना भारी है लॉ इन्फोर्समेंट किसी भी इलाके में जैसे मैं ओशीवारा के इलाके में हूँ तो ओशीवारा के कभी पुलिस स्टेशन में ऐसे ही चाय पीने जाता हूं और वहां पर पता चलता है कि आ, किस किस तरीके के क्राइम हो रहे हैं और कैसे कैसे वो लोग डील कर रहे हैं तब पता चलता है कि इनकी ज़िंदगी कितनी कठिन है कि अपनी ज़िंदगी अपने पूरे पर्सनल जीवन को जो इनका जो व्यक्तिगत जीवन है उसको छोड़ के उसको त्याग करके कम्प्लीटली एक केस पे पुलिस स्टेशन पर उनको लगे रहना पड़ता है कभी कभी तो ऐसा होता है कि जैसे ही वो स्टेशन से अपने घर की तरफ गए बीच से ही उनको बुला लिया जाता है तो आप समझ सकते हैं कि उनका पर्सनल लाइफ कितना कितना अफेक्टेड होता है तो फॉर मी देखिए जो पुलिस लाइन के लोग हैं पुलिस वाले जितने भी हैं उनके लिए बहुत ज़्यादा सिंपति है अगर आप मुझे इंसिडेंट्स बोलेंगे कि ये तो यहाँ पे पुलिस वाले ऐसे हुए वहाँ पे पुलिस वालों ने ये कुछ गलत किया तो यार वो एक्सेप्शन डजेंट मेक द रूल फॉर मी व्हाट आई नो जो शूल करते हुए जो मैंने रिसर्च किया था कि जो पुलिस वालों की ज़िंदगी है वो वो, अज, वो एक कमाल है कि पब्लिक में उनके लिए अनग्रेटफुलनेस है लेकिन उनको दिन रात अपने परिवार के सुख को त्याग करके अपना सुख को त्याग करके 24 घंटे वो आपके लॉ 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 एनफोर्समेंट डिपार्टमेंट को संभालना पड़ता है सो दिस इज़ हेल ऑफ अ जॉब जो हम सोचते नहीं हैं देर आर फ्यू इंस्टेंसेस आप जहाँ पे कह सकते हैं कि पुलिस यहाँ पे पुलिस ने गलत किया लेकिन देर आर अदर नाइन्टी परसेंट इंस्टेंसेज वेर यू विल सी वट बिकॉज ऑफ द पुलिस डिपार्टमेंट that we have always been feeling safe yeah on that note uh, do we have any other question because i'm afraid we've completely run out of time anyone uh, we have time for just one more you know सर यहाँ पर तो मैं स्टूडियो के बाहर था 
आई वॉज एंट अलाउड ऑन द सेट चिकन लॉलीपॉप बनवा रहे मैं मनोज सर की सेवा कर रहा था पूरी यूनिट की और मैडम अंदर जो भी हमारी पूजा गुप्त है और जो भी है इन दोनों का है आभार मैडम का रंग का मेरा मतलब टोटली प्रोडक्शन फोकस था और कुछ नहीं तो थैंक यू फॉर सेइंग दैट बट इट वाज दिस बट बट सिंस वी आर रैपिंग अप स्तुति इट विल बी वेरी इट विल नॉट बी वाइज विदाउट टेकिंग द नेम ऑफ द क्रू हु सिटिंग हियर ऑल द असिस्टेंट डायरेक्टर्स एंड ऑल प्रोडक्शन पीपल करण एंड तान्या एंड देव एंड एवरीवन हु इज सिटिंग देयर थैंक यू वेरी मच थैंक यू thank you uh, over here i have one question over here yeah ji are acha laga aapko chaliye ek dukaan aur khul gayi meri nahi nahi sir main to cha raha hu ki log bulaye main main paise kisko pure lagte hain sir नहीं लेकिन बहुत मज़ा आया मैंने पहली बार किया और मुझे सबसे अच्छी बात ये लगी कि एक एंकर के ऊपर होता है कि वो अपने जो गेस्ट आते हैं जो स्टेज पे आते हैं उसके ऊपर होता है कि वो सवाल किस तरीके से करे और कैसे करे ताकि वो जो गेस्ट स्टेज पे आ रहे हैं वो पूरी तरीके से कंफर्टेबल हों और पूरा माहौल जो है न सिर्फ मज़े का हो एक एंटरटेनमेंट भी हो लेकिन हमको प्रोजेक्ट के बारे में उस कंटेंट के बारे में दर्शकों को पूरी तरीके से पता भी चल जाए तो एक नई चीज़ सीखी मैंने और शायद करते करते और भी अच्छा करूँगा मैं बट आई इन्जॉयड इट क्वाइट अ लॉट थैंक यू सो आई एम सो सॉरी टू कट यू बट ए सी पी अविनाश है ना बिल्कुल कम्प्लीटली रन आउट ऑफ टाइम I'm yeah. really sorry. Just one, one, here. one, one. Hello, sir, uh, and uh, hello to the entire team as well. And I think, first of all, I think everybody should give a huge shout out to Z5. I think we are attending an event uh, from there, and after a long time, and we have missed that as well. So, first of all, silence too. For a huge congratulations to the entire team, Manoj Thank sir you. as well. Lots of love always. Thank you. Uh, my question right now is to Prachi. Would be that um, you know, uh, right from your very first show, right? Uh, people have given you a different level of love affection jo ki raha hai aapke sath and uh, beech beech mein people have missed you as well and jo usko kehte hain hum log like you know silence in uh, you know matlab that visibility that perhaps a lot of people missed as well uh, and you know when visibility is missing even if there's a lot of quality in the person uh, people raise questions right mujhe batao koi ek aisa instance tumhare uh, professional zindagi mein where all this silence and all these critics जिन्होंने शायद आपको क्रिटिसाइज किया था फॉर वट एवर रीजन विच वे नॉट रेलिवेंट टू योर वर्क आपने उनको कैसे साइलेंस किया ऐसा कोई एक किस्सा बताइए प्लीज मुझे किसने कब क्रिटिसाइज किया मैं जस्ट जस्ट किडिंग बट थैंक यू आई एम गोइंग टू से आई गेस वो जितने भी बार आपने मुझे मिस किया थैंक यू फॉर सेइंग दैट बट मुझे लग रहा है कि वेन एवर जी कॉल्स ना आई एम दे so whether it was my first show which was on z and then of course uh, you know we had silence one then we had forensic now we have silence two uh, but what can i say i think you know um, i'm the kind of person who embraces silence and mai apne silence ke sath bahut comfortable ho chuki hu so like manoj sir said there are kinds of silences that you experience in life the main one the most important one as an actor which i learned over the years waqt uh, laga but it is silencing the voice and the noise of everybody else uh, once you start doing what you want to do and what is true to you i guess um, that's when you have more fun with it and since then you've been seeing a lot more of me on screen so i guess somewhere i'm doing getting that right yeah thank you thank you thank you to team silence too thank thank you for the fabulous trailer and we can't wait to watch the film and to all of you thank you for taking out the time to be here so, okay so we we'll, we we'll, you're going to now pose for pictures so all the <laughs> i am heading program
Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. I will get in touch with you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Next. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bar kare. Yeah, I'm just kind of like that. 